What's going on guys? It's Gendo here. Hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another edition of the world's first course. If you're still enjoying the series, please go and hit that like button. Now today we got our final two matches of the regular season. It's Newcastle, it's Leeds, it's a chance for a spot in the playoffs. But of course, let's take a look and see how we fared up to this point and see if playoffs are still a possibility. And since our last double live com between Sunderland and Plymouth, we went on a pretty decent run. 10 points that threw our next six. Three wins, a draw, and two losses. That one draw came right after that Plymouth match. A two-all draw versus Peterborough with Edwards and O'Neill. who else, getting the goals in this match. But unfortunately, the defense did it again. The defense gave up a goal late in the 86th minute to get the posh their their fair share of the match we then follow that up however with an absolute beatdown versus norwich city by the score of five to one at home liam o'neill getting himself a hat trick stefan edwards getting on the board as well and then a carl jenkins and own goal from the canaries giving us our five goal tally but then after that we followed that up with a one a one nil victory versus hull that honestly is a little bit surprising this year they're actually doing a lot better than expected but it was nice that we got the win stefan edwards getting the goal getting all three points but then we got some disappointing efforts versus Colchester and Sheffield United. No goals at all scored by us in those two matches, losing 2-0 at home to Colchester and 4-0 away to Sheffield United. Very disappointing, dropping two in a row. That really hurt our chances in the playoff area. But then we followed that up against Derby County. I think Derby County played a little bit of a weakened squad because by this time they had won the championship. They were already getting promoted. I don't know if they put out a weakened side, but nonetheless, we came away with a 3-2 victory. O'Neal, Moen, and Cooper getting on the score sheet to give us all three points. But once again, we we're up 3-0 at the 74th minute, and then Darby scores two in the last 16 minutes. It's, it's just a curious case that no matter how hard I try to better my defensive line, we still seem to concede goals late. And with those results, that actually keeps us in the playoff spots. We're in fourth place. We're still in the hunt. 77 points through 44 matches. However, we are closer to dropping out of the playoff spots than we are to going up in the automatic promotion. We're four points away from dropping out of the playoffs and five points away from moving up into the automatic promotion spots. So what it means is we need to at least get four points in our next two matches, our last two matches, if we want to stay in the playoffs. Anything less than that, and we're really hoping that every team around us picks up a bad result. So I don't want it to come to that. We need to do our business here versus Newcastle and Leeds. And as you can see, Newcastle not doing all that well. Leeds sitting in the middle of the table. These are two teams that we could possibly get results on. And with that said, this is what the starting lineup is going to be like versus Newcastle. At home, we're going to have Dionisio Silva sitting in net. Marsh Brown, Martinez, Nelson, and Bola along the back line. Cooper, Win Stanley, Moen, and Lakin manning the middle. Stefan Edwards, Liam O'Neill. The strike partnership sitting up front. They have combined a total of 63 goals for us this season. They are an absolute wonder pairing. And to be quite honest with you, I want to get Stefan Edwards for next season. Can it be done? They're going to ask for a lot, so I can only hope. But uh, one thing to note, we do not have Jean Amena. Jean Amena has picked up, I forget what type of injury he picked up, but he picked up a sprained ankle and he's out for the next six weeks which means that obviously he is not going to be available for us the rest of the season even into the playoffs so we got to rely on neil cooper who hasn't done that badly this season i mean a 7.52 average rating four goals pl plenty of assists so i feel like he is a nice replacement he can get the job done while meta is resting up from his injuries so let's go out there see what happens cross fingers hopefully we get a decent result versus newcastle playoff spots on the line as we kick off in this match we really need to not have a bad match we cannot fault ourselves through win stanley edwards really needs to go forward because he's a striker he's not a winger win stanley out to marsh brown red shirts in the box liam o'neill get in son it was a really decent counter-attacking move and a great cross in it's one nil to the good guys in a match that so far has been dominated by newcastle we're able to spring a counter and make it work with this long cross in liam o'neill gang on the end of it just on side and getting ourselves a goal. We got a throw in. This is going to be the last set piece of this half. Edwards out to Moen. We have an attacking chance. We could get ourselves a second goal right before the half. Yes. 
Oh, what a through ball to Stefan Edwards. He doubles the lead. And right now, it's basically O'Neal and Stefan Edwards saying, anything you can do, I can do better. I believe Stefan Edwards has now taken the club lead with goals on the season with 32. That was a great strike with the last kick of the half, putting us up 2-0. And to be quite honest with you, that makes my team talk easier to have because I'm just going to say go out there, continue what you're doing because there really is nothing for me to change. Switching from a counter to a control style right before that first goal helped a lot and I think we're, that's what we're going to go with for the rest of this match. Instead goes inside to Lakin. Lakin tries to get, oh man, there's so much going on here. Lakin tries to get inside. We still have the ball in the box. It's a foul in the box by Newcastle, and we get ourselves a penalty out of it. I knew that there was going to be something going on with this long-ass highlight. And who is stepping up to take the spot kick? It's Stefan nope. Edwards. He tries to make it three, but instead he tries to go cheeky right down the middle, and the penalty is saved. 12 minutes left on the clock. What a good tackle from Moen. Can we hit him on a counterattack here? Edwards gets through to win Stanley, finds the ball out to O'Neal, takes a shot and makes it 3-0 off of a counterattack, off of a corner kick from Newcastle. We get ourselves a third goal and we might as well put this match on ice. 12 minutes left to go. And you know what? I, you know what I should probably do? I should probably throw up uh, not just league scores, but probably the league table to see where everybody stands at this point in time. And as it stands at this point in time, we are just two points back of Brentford. Well, as I say that, Newcastle is coming inside. Newcastle do, in fact, get one back. With a name like that, of course, he can score goals. And apparently, we drop down to fourth now, probably based off of goal difference. Uh, us and Stoke are tied on points. But we're still two points behind Brentford. Like I said, that must mean Brentford is losing. So that means on the final day... On the final day, if we pick up a win and Brentford and Stoke lose, we will get the automatic promotion spot in second place. But otherwise, it was a good win on the day. After not really doing much for the first 15 minutes, we turn it around. And I'm very happy for the lads coming away with a win. 3-1. But now we all need to focus on this final match day versus the Leeds. We need to put in a good performance. Let's take a look and see who we're going to be playing. So Charlie Lakin twisting his knee. He's not going to be with us for the rest of the season. Obviously not for the playoffs. That's uh, that's a big blow to us because Charlie Lakin helped us out a lot this season playing out on the left. I need to rely on Jack Steele who I used all the way up until this season. Hopefully he can rekindle some of his old fire back in the League 1, League 2 days and help us out in this match versus Leeds. And just as a little side note, with that win, we do in fact secure a playoff spot, so we are going to be in the playoffs. It's just a matter of what seeding are we going to be at, who are we going to face in the next round, or the unlikeliest of unlikely, are we going to get ourselves automatically promoted? So the last match day of the season is happening on the first of a month, first of May, 2027, at Elland Road versus Leeds, and this is what the team sheet's going to look like for this all-important match. Of course, Silva's going to be in net. Wesley Martinez, Angel Friars, a little bit of a shakeup on the back line, but with Bola not playing all that well, and Curtis Nelson also being very shaky, needed to change things up. The midfield will be Cooper, O'Donnell, Moen, and Steele. Steele being my only left mid left on this team. And then Edwards and O'Neill, strike force sitting up front. This is what we got to go with, and hopefully everything goes well. So let's kick off, see what happens. Cross fingers that everything goes just right. And if not, we're in the playoffs. So, you know, we got that going for us at least. So once again, yes, we're going to have the league table and the latest scores popping up. We're going to make sure that Brentford match, we're going to take a look at that Brentford match, of course, to see how they do and see Stoke as well. We really need to, to have our result go our way first before looking at anything else. And so far right now, it's not going our way. Leeds coming forward with the ball. Moen, however, putting in some work with a really good tackle. Edwards out to steal on the wing. He does have a couple of red guys in the box, a couple of red shirts. Oh, Cooper still on the attack though. Getting around one defender, getting around two inside the steal, but steal with a really bad shot. It was a good attacking movement, just didn't end up how I wanted it. We got nothing to lose. We're in the playoffs. Ball coming forward. Cloth. Oh, is that Zach Cloth? That is indeed Zach Cloth. As it stands, we stay in fourth place. As it stands, we would actually be facing Sunderland in the playoffs, but uh, there's still time. There's still a lot of time to come back for this. 
Stoke are drawing their match, and I think Brentford are losing theirs. So we really, really need to get our asses in gear. In fact, I don't even think Brentford are playing, but Leeds are coming forward. Takes a shot, Silva with a nice save. I honestly don't see Brentford. Did Brentford already play? Brentford already played. We need to win. So it comes to my attention that Brentford have already played their match, either earlier in the day or the day before. So their points are set in stone, which makes it even more imperative that we come out and get a victory here. If we get a win, we overtake them and we get the automatic playoff spots. Oh, this just added a whole new dynamic. We need two goals in 45 minutes. Can it be done? Corner kick, Liam O'Neill goes short corner to Edwards. Very peculiar. Inside to steal, though. Liam Angel, it's bouncing around the box. Come on, boys. We need a finish. We needed a finish right there. 61 minutes gone. Nice through ball to Liam O'Neill. Take the shot. Moen, out to steal with an attack, but... Oh, we really need to start chugging it inside. Chuck it inside. Edwards gets inside to O'Neill. That's equalizer. How is that not a goal? Oh, that had draw. That had equalizer written all over it. How did it not go in the back of the nets? Oh, Liam O'Neill is having an absolute nightmare of a game. Cloth looks like he's through on nets. Ah, oh, and we give away a penalty. I mean, I mean, we just can't stop. We cannot stop shooting ourselves in the foot defensively. No matter what league it is, no matter what player it is, we can't stop giving away petty fouls, cards, and penalties just like this. And now we might as well kiss our chances of getting back in this match goodbye. 14 minutes left. It's 2-0 to Leeds. We've actually dropped down to 5th now. Run with it. Lester, go. O'Neal to, o to Edwards. Takes a shot. It bounces off the bar. I mean, that's been our luck all day. That has been our absolute luck all day. Just taking really shitty chances. 15 shots, 5 of them being on target. We just have not taken care of the ball whatsoever. There's about four minutes and change left in this match, and they're just still coming forward with the ball. I mean, leads are running unopposed, unobstructed, but it's a good clearance out to Edwards, who's running up the wing, though. He really taking a bad shot, but O'Neal is there. Okay, okay, four minutes left. We get one back. We get one back. However, we... Uh, he was onside, ref. And two minutes on the stoppage clock. Looks like it's about to be come and gone. We actually move back up into fourth place in stoppage time. We move back up into fourth place. We're not, in fact, going to be taking on Stoke. It looks like Sunderland lost their match. So in our first playoff round, no, Sunderland drew. In our first playoff round, it looks like we're going to be taking on Sunderland. Stoke and Sheffield United are the other two playoff teams. But like I said, if we would have came away with a win here... Because Brentford already played their match, we would have won here. We would have overtaken Brentford for second place, and we would have gotten the automatic promotion spots up into the Premier League. So our, our Premier League push is put on hold for at least one more episode. But yeah, this is what the final table looks like on the season. Derby, of course, your winners, Brentford, are going to be your promotion coming in second place. Stoke, Sheffield, Sunderland, Sheffield United, that's a lot of S teams in there, are going to be your playoff teams. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to get confirmation a day or two from now. You know what? This also creates an interesting dynamic. Because if we take on Sheffield United in the final, Neil Cooper can't play against them. Because we loaned in, we loaned him in from him, and with John Amena out, we're boned. We're boned on that right side. Oh God! But as I said, here is the semifinal matchup. It was it was all a foregone conclusion at this point. We're taking on Sunderland in the semifinals of the promotion playoffs. It's a two-legged affair, of course, with the final being played at Wembley. But we need, of course, to get past Sunderland. I think. That we've actually, we haven't lost to Sunderland. We have not lost to Sunderland this season. We had a win and a draw versus them is what the form is looking like. We had a win and a draw versus them on this season. So I feel very confident going into this that we could possibly get past them and get into the final. But of course, it all comes down to form and fitness and anything else, any other factors that come into play. So with that being said, next time is the promotion playoff 
extravaganza. Up to three matches, of course. If we get past Sunderland, we then take on either Stoke or Sheffield United, but it all comes down to how well can we do. Tune in next time, find out will we go up into the Premier League or will we stay in the championship for one more season. So until that time, guys, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Of course, if y'all liked what you saw, please go and hit that like button. Let's me know that you're still interested in the series. And of course, if you're new to the series and the channel in general, hit a subscribe button. Any comments, suggestions, questions, anything else at all, please leave in the comment box below but as always this is gendo and i'll see you in the next video take care and peace out